all of you well we are here today to discuss the bolt okay we must know that what is a bolt prior to designing the structural unit using the steel member okay so basically a general introduction to bolt that these are the connection material okay these are the units or the material which are used while making a connection proper connection in the steel structural design okay so when the torque come on the connection so there are basically two types of connection which we design in case of steel members using steel member the first type of connection is the dynamic connection dy dynamic loading connection okay or dynamic connection and the second type of connection is the static connection well what is the difference between the dynamic connection and static connection so here the matter comes on bolt so dynamic connection are those connection which are pro provided in case of dynamic loading condition dynamic loading condition means the, the, the there is a reversal of stress condition okay stress reversal condition suppose the stress in acting in a particular direction but after some time it changes or there is a fluctuating loading conditions so those are the condition condi those condition where the load variations are unpredictable unpredictable or high okay those are the dynamic loading condition and to connect member which is to be provided to bear the dynamic loads the structural or the connection member used is particularly a bolt or a rivet so for making a dynamic connection there are basically two member which we use we use a riveted connection or we use a bolted connection so riveted connection is a old fashioned but and the new fashioned connection which we use nowadays actually when you will go on the railway bridges you will observe that now nowadays we use bolt to connect to make a joint or to make a connection okay <clears throat> so and uh, since we have in civil engineering there is a paper design of steel section so in that paper the very first chapter is the connection and in that also the very first unit is to design the connection using a bolted joint so to proceed further we must understood the what what is a bolt actually yes or not so this video concern that that we must understand a bolt so look at look at the bolt here as in the picture the you may guess that it is a rusted but it is actually not a rusted these are the dust okay these are the dust on the bolt it is not a rusted one so what i am going to say you is okay do you know the stainless steel okay which is a steel a kind of steel which is free of rusting okay it is free of rusting why it is free of rusting because there is a we use a special kind of material in that in steel which makes it as a stainless steel and that material is chromium so in exams you may get come across this question that what is the material used to prepare a stainless steel to so chromium is that material which is used actually the mechanism of uh, prevention which we will discuss in detail while we will while we will study the steel engineering so now let's stick to our topic here so our topic was the what is a bolt so look there are two unit this particular one it is called as a nut this is a nut and this is a bolt so in bolt this particular this one the top one where where my finger is right now it is the head and this this shaft okay this shaft which have some length it is called a shank shank of the bolt and this is head of the bolt now while designing okay while designing the connection using a bolt there may be two types of connection basically there may be a lap joint okay 
or you may design a butt joint using cover plates to connect the same two member okay you will connect same two member but the connection method may be different you may use a lap jointed connection or you you may use a butt joint in which you need to use the cover plates i will show you i will show you the diagram of butt joint and lap joint in a note but first of all let me discuss the bolt so this is the head as i have said earlier and this is a shank okay now you can observe that the shank has some pattern okay and this in, in, in ringed fashion and this pattern are called as thread thread of the shank which is used to hold the nut okay which is used to hold the nut this is this nut doesn't fit in this particular shank but you have seen it yes or not you have seen so the reason of providing the thread on the shank is to hold the nut or the fix or to fix this particular bolt now let's the talk we shift on the cross section area of the bolt while calculating the strength of the bolt which cross section area we should use so you may get confused okay that according to indian standard is 1800 2000 it is a code for design of structural unit using steel members so in that you will observe that they, they have recommended to us to use 0.78 into pi by 4 times d square as the net sectional area now what is this particular net sectional area okay so look the look at the cross section area or this 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 particular area is it a circular area and it have a diameter d so let that diameter called the nominal diameter okay this diameter is the nominal diameter of the bolt shank now what will be the nominal cross section area then it will be pi by 4 times d square since it is a circular so now what will be the net cross section area it will be the 78% of the nominal cross section area why the now you can guess the 0.78 78% of the total area means it has been lowered it has been decreased why it is so to to balance the effect of threading okay the basic reason they may ask you in the interview that what is the basic reason of providing the 0.78 times the nominal area as cross sectional area while calculating the bolt strength there is a there is no logic but just but to avoid or, or prevent or fill up the effect of threading okay due to which there is somewhat reduction in the cross sectional area this is this was the basic logic behind this recommendation okay now let me show you in the notes if you have not properly understood wait just a minute look here look here this one is the head as i have so as i have said let me pick up the bolt which is behind the note actually look okay head and shank now there are two diameters okay one is the nominal diameter complete one and there are there, there is second diameter too which this one are you getting so to just to counteract the effect of the threading we use here the threaded area or the net tensile stress area okay the threaded area or the net tensile stress area which is area net which is 0.78 times pi by 4 d square understood <clears throat> this we use because it is the minimum area which we have in this particular bolt so now as i have said there are two types of connection we design actually using this bolt first the lap lap connection and second one is the bolt butt connection sorry 
so what is lap connection lap connection is the connection where you overlap two member look this one is the first member and this is the second member and you have overlap the second member on the first member and you have connected it using a bolt and you will fix up nut at the base as I have said shown here so there in the plan this is the section when you will draw the plan okay here the, there are two bolts this connection has been made using two bolts actually so hence there are two rings or the two holes okay dia of hole dia of hole is that hole in which you will insert the bolt this is the dia of hole in which you will insert the bolt understood so let us stick to our discussion so this this, this is the what is it it is the lap connection now when it comes to lap connection you you can this one this particular section where the two member is just connected this one this section is the shear plane actually okay this section is the shear plane just look look here shear plane is this sectional area only at the connection if you will cut the bolt from here this particular at this section then you will get a sectional area which I have shown using BB understood BB section the same and this plane on which the shear force is acting is the shear plane of the bolt and how do we calculate the shear strength of a bolt number of shear plane times area of a bolt into permissible strength shear strength now what is the permissible shear strength we will discuss it uh, uh, here you can see in the formula in case of lap joint number of shear plane is a one only single shear plane you you are getting one single plane one shear plane so number of shear plane is one and area of bolt or area of shank not area of shank this is a net tensile area a net 0 0.78 times pi by 4 d square times the permissible strength permissible strength is fu means ultimate strength of the bolt in design of bolt we take the ultimate strength of the bolt to make a maximum utilization of its strength understood divided over factor of safety 1.25 into for shear we are uncertain hence some additional factor of safety root 3 now the second type of connection is a butt connection here okay the three members are connected but in this is also a lap lap connection only okay but here in this case how many shear planes you are getting two shear plane one is here and one is here hence in this case when you will calculate the bolt strength you will write it as two into area net into shear permissible shear strength of bolt now the butt connection where is butt connection actually i will show you later on but make a note that there are two types of connection actually okay in in case of butt connection we have to calculate one one more type of strength of a bolt that is bearing strength here in case of lap joint okay we are calculating only the shear strength because lap joint is concerned with shear strength shear strength of the bolt only there is only shear forces look here the force transmission pattern you can understood now the force how the force is transmitted through the shank of the bolt okay hence since the, these forces are shear forces okay to the shank hence the connection is designed for shear strength only it guides it guides or it leads now let we move or proceed toward the ending of the video and let us discuss something about grade of the bolt so bolts this particular bolt which i have on in my hand is an ordinary bolt ordinary bolt or black bolt okay ordinary bolt or black bolt and there is one more type of bolt which is high strength friction grip bolt okay which we will look into it we will look into it while we will study in detail the steel engineering so this this is an ordinary bolt as i have written key these bolts are used for light load structure 
the structure where loading is not too high in that case we use this ordinary bolt to make a joint and these bolts are designated as m5 to m36 and what is m m is a metric unit means meter centimeter it these are the metric unit and the numeric value 5 and 36 5 to 36 what are these these are the nominal die of the bolt means d understood so and there is one more thing the most commonly bolts are grade on basis of grade we write 4.6 and 8.8 .8. these are the most common grade of the bolt or the of the black bolt okay or the ordinary bolt which we use now what this grade implies for example grade 4.6 it means fub means ultimate strength of bolt which is 400 newton per mm square and fyb it is 400 times 0 0.6 understood now in 400 you have to multiply in in this 4 you have to multiply 100 and this 0.6 you have to multiply with 400 you will get the value 240 means this grade is combination of ultimate strength and yield strength okay by using the grade of the bolt you can get the ultimate and yield value of the bolt well this is a simple introduction to design of steel engineering which we will discuss slowly 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 we will go on well thank you i am ending here good luck